What's up guys, Grim Tutor, Blightsteel Colossus, and Terror of the Peaks are this month's Patreon rewards. We've also incorporated brand new tiers for those of you who'd like to get your hands on some of our awesome previous proxies very, very quickly. To support our channel and sign up for the tier that best suits you, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's up guys, welcome to another Jumpstart video. So today, uh, we're gonna see what we get. I have no idea. We've been playing a good bit of Jumpstart, uh, just in general. Uh, I know we've only gotten a couple of videos up on it, but in I, I, I've, I've been playing quite a bit, uh, and it's really, really been a good time, so I'm loving this format. Uh, do we want milling, reanimated, or minions? I kinda like milling. Let's go milling. Uh, and what else? Uh, Unicorns is funny, but I'm actually gonna go walls. I've been like very pleasantly surprised by the walls pack Uh, and you know what like, with milling? I think that that kind of works. Uh, you stall out and then you just mill that would work, right? Theoretically <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, towering titan such a good card Draw three uh, target player mills three. Ooh, bell tower sphinx. I love Vidalcan and Trancer. very very good uh, of course, all of our walls. Absolutely uh, love this Teferi's Tutelage. Great. Uh, let's see. They mill twice that many cards. Wow. I like that. Um, I, I have not played with the mill pack yet, so this is going to be a first for me. Um, but I love this. Wow. And can I just mention, Assault Formation with things like the Entrancer and like Bell Tower Sphinx? There's a synergy here uh, that I'm really liking. All right. Let's do it. Let's jump in. We're going to play three games uh, and see what we get. Um, I I really, really like this format. I don't know if you guys have played much of it yet. Uh, I, I hope that you have. It did come out last week, so I think uh, over the weekend was a great time to play it. Um, it's so fun. It is so fun. Um, and I think uh, I, I was talking to Will about this, actually. Um, so... Uh, cause we both agree like the, the battle bond and like the conspiracy sets and things like that were all like within themselves self-contained, very good sets, like very, very good. The reprints were great. Uh, and I thoroughly enjoyed those sets, but, uh, do we keep this? I think we do. Um, but in general, like I never played battle bond for the way it was supposed to be played. I kind of played or, or I kind of bought into battle bond to get reprints, uh, which you know, say what you will, uh, but that was just the way that I handled it. Um, and I think that that was not necessarily uncommon. I don't necessarily think that was the way everybody did it, but um, I do think that a lot of people ran into that. Uh, however, I think what they did this time in a very clever way, um, we'll do this. In a very clever way, what they were able to do with this is present a new way of playing uh, without there being a huge barrier for entry. And what I mean by that is it's not difficult to understand how Jumpstart works, or it's not difficult to just sit down and play Jumpstart very, very quickly and very, very easily. Uh, and I think that that makes it uh, highly successful, at least so far. I think we've had a very, very good success rate with it in terms of um, the people enjoying it and people wanting to play it. And so uh, I'm actually really, really stoked about this. And... Um, I think that, you know, it was very clever of them to just say, well, you know what? All you got to do is mix a couple packs together and go for it. And they made it fun. Like, they made uh, really interesting kind of little archetypes. And then you kind of get to, you still get to flex those kind of creative muscles, so to speak, uh, when you figure out, you know, which two you want to put or which two uh, packs you want to put together. But, like, they just made it so easy and so fun. And I really appreciate that. I think that that was done very, very well. Um so I'm very happy to say that I like this set a lot. Uh, let's do this. Um, we're not going to equip it. We're going to leave up the counter, I think. Um, or actually, you know what? Let's just play this. Um, it's better, obviously, with a thought collapse to go ahead and leave, get this out there. So let's just do that. We're, we're committing to the board a good bit here, but the opponent doesn't really seem to be doing all that much. So not really too upset about it. Um, all right. Yep, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, there we go. Alright, see what they do. Uh, this is an interesting card. I'm really excited to see how this card works, uh, if it works well. My goal is to mill people out as much as possible. I love mill as an archetype, so this is just wall mill seems hilarious. <laughs> uh, I like this card, though. The Dryad Greenseeker is very, very good, in my opinion. Um... 
I feel like it's like I'm gonna put in your hand. Yeah. Ooh. Well, yeah, that's super good. Wow, that's very good. Um, sure. Uh, we will not just auto pass because we do want to do this, but man, that's great. I'm into it. Uh, we could make them draw and discard a card, actually, but I don't think we need to. That seems bad. <laughs> Uh, this does allow for that, though, which I think is kind of interesting. All right. Let's do this. Uh, so, uh, we'll put that back. Ooh, Teferi's Tutelage. Uh, wow, I wish we could do a lot more. Uh, unfortunately, we just don't have the lands, do we? Uh, hmm. Let's play the Tutelage. Uh... We get to draw a card here. If it is a land, perfect. Uh, ooh, we do have to discard a card, though. Ah, we'll discard the land. I don't like that. But now they mill four cards. Ooh, we got the volcanic. Is it the salvo? Wow. That's handy. Um, all right, let's pass. Uh, I like this archetype. It's a bit slow, but, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> um, it also works very well together with the toughness boost. I, I, I'm kind of in for this. Um so, out of curiosity, uh, and we did have a few people uh, mention this, you know, what what has been your favorite archetype so far, the, the combination archetype that you've been playing the most, uh, or that you've enjoyed the most? Because I think that there are some really good ones out there, and then there are some that I've found have fallen short um, a little bit. Uh, I know we had a comment on, I believe, our first video that kind of echoed that idea that, you know, we were they were kind of running into the same issue where they... They played two things together that they thought would be very, very good, and unfortunately it just wasn't. Um, and I, I understand. I, I think I've run into that a couple times as well, but uh, I do think that it's a very fun format just in general. So I'm just curious as to, to where you guys are at with it. Uh, okay. Let's do that. And let's equip this guy up to... Who do we want to equip it up to? Um... I mean, this is, like, the obvious one. Um, hmm. All right. We do get to attack in here. Uh, do we want to attack in here is the question. I'm fine with it. It's not great. Uh, but it does kind of offer or push them to really feel the need to do something here. And that's fine. They can triple block if they want. Goodness gracious. Um, I'll get rid of one of these guys first. That's fine. I don't particularly care the order here. Um, and that's fine. That just kind of makes it easier for us, to be honest. Uh, and now we get to counter whatever they're about to do, uh, which I really, really like. And then they mill six. So literally anything that they do, we just kind of counter it. <clears throat> a good one to counter. Uh, Furious Rise is pretty sweet. Ooh, baby. Ooh, nice. Alright, I'm in. I'm super in. That might have been a better card to counter, but eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna block. We'll take the four, that's fine. <coughs> that is fine. We're also not gonna... Uh, actually, let's target them. <laughs> uh, this isn't great, but it does actually get them further down the mill plan. Um, it's not amazing, let me just say. This is not a good play, but we're trying it. We're just, we're in this to try stuff and have fun, so that's what we're doing. Uh, and this does technically represent a, a clock idea here. Um, that's great for us. This not only blocks efficiently against a lot of what they have, except this is going to be a problem. Uh, I will say that. That would have been a better counter target, I think. Um, but they do have to worry um, about milling. Um, so, there is a world where we just kind of went off of that. Uh, when a source deals damage to Bell Tower Sphinx, that controller mills that many cards. So, uh, if they do attack with this, we kind of just get to block. They might be able to kill this, which would suck. But... Uh, if they can't and they attack with this, we block, they pump it up, and then they mill themselves to death. So, like, we do have a way to stave off attacks now. Uh, unless they can deal with it, of course. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, let's block here. Power it up. Please power it up. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Sure. Fair enough. Uh, so they mill four here, is that correct? So they're down to four cards left in their deck. Uh, unfortunately, they got rid of a lot of our stuff. <laughs> that was really good on their end. Uh, let's play this out. Uh, and let's play this out. Uh, just so we've got some blockers and we pass. Um, we just kind of have to hope we can get there in four turns. Um, I'm really glad we did what we did, honestly, but that was that was difficult uh, for sure. Uh, let's do this. Block the most damage. We'll just do this. We're just trying to keep alive. Uh, that's, that's literally all that matters to us at the moment. Sure. Has trampled. That's a problem. Uh, all right. Don't know if we're gonna get there, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Um, this doesn't win. Oh, I don't like that. This doesn't win. I don't think. Uh, they just get to attack with enough stuff to kill us. Is that correct? This is such an interesting game. <laughs> uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this one blocks here. This one blocks here. Again, just blocking the max amount of damage, but two, four, five, and then this gets to punch through for quite a bit. Six, seven, eight. Are we still alive by one? No, okay. I just miscounted. I thought we were going to still be alive by one. Technically, they would have milled two cards, though. Or one card, excuse me. Ugh. Ugh. Almost. That was actually really fun, though. Um, I like this archetype, I will say. Uh, I think we countered the wrong thing. I think we should have countered the 4-2 uh, the or 4-3 or whatever it was. So that was just, I think, a bit of a mistake. But it's fine. We're here. We're going to try again. Got three games in us, so we're going to give it a shot. Um, I really like this format, though, guys. That's all I can say. If you've not tried it, please try it. Um, not to mention, I'm really enjoying it because we're getting a lot of new cards in Arena because of this, which I think is really good uh, for just the Arena format in general. I wish we could keep this, um, but we get a free mulligan. I'm going to take it here. Uh, this we can keep. Pretty easily keep, in fact. Uh, let's get you down. kind of hate that we don't get to just go ahead and throw this wall out, but uh, turn one is often the best time to play these, and so I'm going to take that opportunity. Uh, let's do this, and we'll we'll throw this out there. Next turn, we can throw out you know some of these walls and actually get some things down. But uh, I think this is a good start, a very good start, in fact. Um, can really start pumping out some stuff. I think. Nice, very nice. Uh, let's do this. Throw this out there. Uh, we can throw this out there. All right, uh, next turn we can Wall of Lost Thoughts or we can Weight of Memory uh, to kind of refill and then make them mill a good bit. So kind of liking this. Uh, mill is actually very good in this format, any kind of limited vibe format uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, oh, excuse me, we cannot Weight of Memory quite yet. We don't have double blue. That was a mistake. Um, but let's get this down uh, and let's do this. And we are officially shields upping. <laughs> um, that is amazing. We just milled basically a quarter of their deck in one turn, uh, which feels great. <laughs> uh, and we just have walls up for days. I mean, they, they can certainly punch through. I'm sure they've got ways to do so. But next turn, we get to Weight of Memory, which is going to refill our hand, mill six cards from their 21 left in uh, their deck. Um, and so I'm feeling pretty good uh and they seemingly don't have very good attacks which is great uh so let's do this let's refill uh target player so we need to target them this is a sweet deck <laughs> this is really fun um it's i i concede that it is not the best deck in the world but it is very fun uh this is a great card in this board state because it actually deals damage as a wall which is amazing um, and at this point, we kind of just want to find more things that mill. Uh, 
if we can get like a good counter spell in there or something like that, we'd be in great shape. Memory lapse would be amazing. Uh, Cathar's Crusade, that's a great one to have milled as well. Uh, this is awesome. I This is great. Uh, it's silly and it's not, it's a little bit jank, but hey, I'm fine with jank. Uh, <laughs> I'm into it. They are also short on lands, which is unfortunate, by the way. They've missed quite a number of land drops, which also feels terrible, but we are a mill deck, so I think that's, it's kind of part of the plan. This card is stupid good. <laughs> uh, in this list, obviously, but man, if you get a deck like this that, at least on the onset, doesn't seem to have a lot of removal, uh, it's great. You just let it stick. Get it down early. Uh, and with the uh, the battlement, the overgrown battlement here, it gives us a way to ramp into some things, which is just amazing. Uh, let's get you down. We'll get you down. Uh, let's see. Actually, we'll do this. I'm going to sacrifice this to draw a card here. Uh, probably should have done that first, but that's fine. Uh, and we'll pass. Sweep away. Not really amazing, but it does give us an out for, you know, whatever. If they've got some kind of uh, uh, big spell that does come down, we do have a way now to at least bounce it and kind of give ourselves a turn. Um, but we also do just have a really big dude on the field. So, like, uh, feeling okay about this. Gonna be honest. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, I am going to go ahead and do this. We're going to sacrifice this little guy. We can start punching in for damage if we want, but we really just kind of don't need to. Uh, until this came into our hand. All right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Absolutely love this. This is so fun. All right. Well. Let's see what they can do. Uh, now they've got a very must-answer threat. Uh, on top of not really having a lot of resources left. So they have to be worried about milling, and they have to be worried about a giant 28-28. Uh, so that's good. <laughs> um, and worth noting, we can also get rid of Defender on some of these cards and just attack in since we've got a billion mana. Like... <laughs> uh, not a billion, but we've got quite a bit with the Battlement out, uh, and that really helps. This also can give trample, which is good. All right. The opponent's really just done a lot of not much uh, in this instance, which is completely fine by me. Um, let's activate this. Uh, and let's activate this. All right. Um, and let's attack in. Okay, there we go. We got a win. Heck yes, that was exactly what I was hoping this deck would do, and I'm so glad that it worked. <laughs> uh, we got one more game in us, so we'll give it another shot here and see what we get. Oh, we got so much stuff. Uh, what's our card? Ooh, Doom Necromancer, very good. Uh, let's, really quickly, let's open a pack. Uh, we always open the packs as we get them, just because it's fun. Uh, granted, we've got almost everything in Theros Beyond Death, yeah. Uh, so it's a little less exciting, but... Wait, yeah, okay, that was weird. Uh, all right, last game with this one. Uh, this is so silly. Uh, it's just a, an absolutely silly format, an absolutely silly deck. Uh, I will go ahead and say if you are into silly and jank kind of things, please check out the JDC. Uh, I really do recommend it. I think it's a very, very fun uh, little, little series. Um, and I hope that you'll take the time to check that out because we really are going to be putting in a lot of work with it uh, very soon. Um, we're, we're, we spent most of the weekend kind of planning a lot of that. And then this, uh, this week we're going to be working on a few things to try and get it where it needs to be. So I am very, very excited, uh, because I think it's going to be a, a really great thing. Uh, and not just for us. I want to point out that like, what's great about this is our plan is to have this very, um, not profitable, isn't the right word, but very helpful for a lot of YouTube channels. Uh, so any YouTube channel that wants to get involved can. Um, and I think that it will be very helpful for a lot of people just to be able to collaborate with a, a larger group of individuals. Um, and I think that that's going to be fun. So I'm excited. 
Uh, let's do this. Let's get Bell Tower Sphinx out, uh, just because this represents a threat. This is also a good card with specifically uh, whatever his name is, <laughs> the guy that doubles the mill. Bell Tower Sphinx is as well, but uh, this is also more of a threat, uh, which is good. Uh, we've got Capture Sphere and Sweep Away as threat management, uh, which is going to be amazing. Um, this also just gets around this guy. Uh, they kind of messed up with Revitalize. They should have played that on their turn, but that's fine. Let's return another target creature. Okay, that's fine. Uh, don't love that given our current, uh, our, our plan is mill, um, but that's fine. Let's do that, and we'll go ahead and play this out here, I think. Uh, it's not amazing, but it does give us, um, you know, a, a little peek at what they're doing. We also got two removal spells in that one, uh, hand there. That was pretty great. Um... We also get the opportunity, Sweep Away can actually get rid of, like if they try and remove the Bell Tower Sinks, for instance, we can just Sweep Away, put it back in our hand, and then replay it the next turn, um, which is actually kind of not bad. Interesting. Okay. Um, we're not going to play the, the Sphere yet, I don't think. Uh, this is not a great card, if I'm honest, but it is a card. We're going to play it out. Just gonna attack him for two. Uh, this isn't a great attacker, if I'm honest, but it is one. It's fine, so we're gonna do it. Um, but it's not. It's not amazing. Let me just go ahead and say. Uh, cool. Nice. School card. Um, they've got a lot of like do nothing stuff though. Like uh, the Grizzle Grinner is very powerful. Um, but we can, any time we want, just get rid of that threat. Uh, so I'm not really worried about it. Okay. That doesn't seem amazing, but you do you. Um, that's very good, actually. Uh, I think we're just gonna, like, outright pass here. Let's see what they do. Um, there's a world where, like... So we can just capture Sphere this. We can also just uh, Crushing Canopy this, because this is kind of their engine at the moment. Um, and then we're kind of in amazing shape. Like, depending on what they do, of course. Uh, we don't need, we don't have to do that now, so we're not going to, but like, there is a world where that can happen. Uh, that's good because it does kind of get this close to attacking in, um, but we'll see. We can also just sweep away it if we need to, uh, given given a position where we block and they've got some response to it, we can just sweep it away, uh, which would be helpful. Um, let's take the opportunity to crushing canopy this just so uh, they don't start getting an engine going. Um, and then we'll we'll get to our turn here. Unfortunately, we're just drawing a bunch of land, uh, but let's pass. Again, we're, we're doing a good job of holding them off, and they're halfway through their deck. Granted, we're only at 26 cards, but we do have, obviously, a lot of ways to get them through theirs a lot faster. Uh, so that's good. This also being that it, if, if the creature is attacking uh, us, it actually goes back on top of the library is quite good. We're going to sweep away. Uh, I, I want to protect the Sphinx, uh, very heavily as much as I can here. Opponent thinking. Opponent really thinking. Uh, sure. Does this have lifelink? No. So I'm just, I'm just going to take four. That's fine. <clears throat> that's totally fine. Uh, my turn. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Um... Hmm. I like the Sphinx because we are more on the mill plan than anything else, and we still get to leave up Capture Sphere here, so uh, we'll see what they do. If they do try and interact with the Bell Tower Sphinx, we know they're planning to attack in now because they kind of proved that last turn, so we can just Capture Sphere that if need be. Uh, that's interesting. That does sh get shut down by this, which is kind of nice. Granted, they're not anywhere close to that life gain level, but uh, let's capture Sphere, this guy. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, now that we know we're going to be playing more, like, threats per turn, um, I think this is worth it. 
Let's get this in there. Start dealing a little bit of damage because, uh, again, we're kind of not doing amazing on either front. Uh, and so we do kind of want to get stuff going here. That's a great draw, though, I will say. Let's mill some stuff. Ooh. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. yes, please. Uh, this is also quite good. Um, hmm. Let's put this down there. It's just a nice little card. I love this. Uh, and we also get to throw out a wall of blossoms, which is pretty good. Next turn, we've got Towering Titan, which also seems good. Uh, and, hey, a free land. Uh, we'll attack in here. Oops, there we go. All right, see what they do. Uh, I think this is a pretty great board state, uh, given our position, so I'm not tremendously worried about what they can do. Uh, with the Towering Titan as well, I think... Wait a second. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Alright, look. What's the cool play, right? No, okay, we just Towering Titan. We can do both, but like... Shoot, we could have just played the Gargoyle Sentinel too. We probably should have. Um, Yeah, that was... That might have been a bit of a mistake. Um, Let's do this. Just puff this guy up really quick. Uh, just so we can attack in with him. All right. This they can block, but... And they've got quite a number of things that are easy to block it. All right, there we go. Yes. Heck yeah, we got two wins with this. Uh, that's perfectly fine with me. I think that's pretty much what you can... Ex like, uh, I think what they did a very good job of, I should say, is that they kept things, relatively speaking, pretty even. Ooh, Krinko. Heck yeah. Uh, they kept things relatively even uh, in terms of the archetypes, at least. Um, and so it's very easy to like, it's easy to get the wrong two things put together and that can be a problem. Um, and I, I mentioned this in a comment to one individual <clears throat> who was having that issue. Uh, and I said, you know, the, the key to this is that every archetype you pick has another archetype that's very good against it. So milling as an example, uh, obviously there is a reanimator strategy. In fact, we were kind of, I, we might've been up against it that time, um, that, that does very well against the mill strategy because obviously you're kind of helping that deck. Uh, however, a lot of other decks don't really deal with mill very well or they just kind of deal with the creatures or the pieces of the mill deck and then hope that they can get there that way, which uh, I think that's kind of the norm is that you're always going to have something that checks the things that you've picked. Um, the situation that can happen because of that is that you pick two things and the opponent picks two things that are really good against the two things that you picked. Um, and so the important thing when you're picking your packs is to think, okay, I've picked this uh, pack A, I've picked pack A. My second pack or pack B needs to be filling in the gaps very, very evenly, uh, as much as possible at least with, you know, whatever we've taken in pack one. So milling walls, for instance, milling is a slow thing. Uh, it's not going to not gonna just like off the wall kill somebody because it takes a little bit of time to get it going. Therefore, how do we stall so we can get that time? Walls. Walls was a great pick, I think. Um, it's not perfect, but I think that it, it gave us that out, and you could see it really stalled the game there, uh, and that's the goal of the deck. So I love this. I think this is a really fun format. Play around with some different combinations, and please do let me know which ones you've found have been, you know, the best or the worst or, you know, maybe not so good. Uh, but uh, I, I love this format. I think this is fun. We may try and get some more videos up on the Jumpstart stuff just because it's just a good time, man. This is just fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very, very soon with another Jumpstart video.